Levels of gang stalking are covert and overt, and they are labeled based on the behavior of the targeted individual. Targeted individuals have an incorruptible gene called the God gene, which is recognized shortly after birth. The system seeks to corrupt all citizens in order to control them through demon technology, but the God gene protects targeted individuals. The surveillance starts covertly to ensure the target is going down the wrong path, and if they become enlightened, the targeting becomes overt in an attempt to break and defile them. If the targeted individual becomes defiled, they will be attacked by those being used by the system. The system does not have full order and control of the target, as they are protected by the God gene. The gang stalking attempts to manipulate and break the target, and if that fails, they will have problems if they try to physically touch the target. What are the levels of gang stalking, and how are they labeled? Writing by Brittany Britt. Covert and overt. Targeted individuals have an incorruptible gene, which is usually recognized shortly after birth. This gene is called the God gene because the system is corrupt and therefore seeks to corrupt all citizens in order to control them through demon technology. So, they call the gene the God gene in contrast to the system, which is, as mentioned, very corrupted. The surveillance is initially covert to make sure quietly that the target is going down the wrong path, Asus the Major. If the targeted individual doesn't go down the wrong path and becomes enlightened, the targeting will go overt, and that's when the system will turn on you, and in that, will try to break you in order to be able to destroy and defile you. An RNM machine that attaches to the targeted individual is passed around the community and abroad as a means to defile a righteous being. If you become defiled by your own actions, then that means whatever attacks that come at you by those that are being used by the system will penetrate and take form against said targeted person. The system doesn't want the targeted individual to connect to the God source because by doing so that makes you an untouchable person and anything they do to you must be done in order. Unlike with their civilians, they have full order and control of them. They don't have full order and control of the target because of what is protecting them via that gene that they have. So, the gang stalking begins, they won't touch you because if they do, it's problems for them. However, through mental manipulation, they will try to break you and cause you to fall to yourself. If that doesn't work well, until next lifetime, folks.